Good morning, John here. We are in September. I'm, I'm glad fall is here. You know, talking to past superintendents, um, they love this golf course from September through the end of June. The course drains well, it plays well in the winter time. Uh, July and August, they talked about the struggles and, and we saw some of those, but we're kind of on the other end of it. Um, there is some heat, there was some heat yesterday, there's some heat the next couple days. Um, the big difference between heat in September as opposed to heat in July, we're talking about in September heat from uh, maybe 11 noon till four or five o'clock, four or five hours of heat over 90 degrees. And then we have temperatures going into the high night or high 50s, low 60s at night. In July, we were going over 90 degrees sometimes before 11 a.m. It wasn't dro dropping back under 90 degrees until 9, 10 o'clock at night. And then the lows were sometimes in the 70s. So um, that's a challenge for, for any golf course, really. So um, we should get through this just fine. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple things I learned about the golf course this summer. Um, crabgrass and also um, some of the grub damage that we're starting to see from animals, okay? Um, here we have a strip of crabgrass. We're on number 17. I was made aware that we had challenges of crabgrass on the course, especially on 17 and some of these other holes down below. You'll also see crabgrass on some of the tees. Um, one tee has a big patch on the front left corner that you can see. Um, I did some pre-emergent crabgrass. Both of those problems, grubs and crabgrass, it's easier to deal with them uh, before you have them than after you have them. So I did some pre-emergent control. I think what happened here, you can see a real uh, fine strip of crabgrass here. I think we might have had a plug and a nozzle on our sprayer or a little skipper in the application. I think if we hadn't done that control, the majority of this area would have been crabgrass. So believe it or not, we saw a little bit of success here. Um, next spring on the pre-emergent control, I'm going to double the efforts of crabgrass. I've been doing mapping of where it's at. Some of those areas will come in and maybe even triple the efforts to try to get the crabgrass before it germinates and is a problem in the summer. The same goes for uh, grub control. I did grub control on the green surrounds. I did it grub control in the areas where Sam had said it, it was a perennial problem. Um, now that I've seen it, I'm doing more mapping and we'll be a little more aggressive with the grub control so we don't see the animal damage in the fall that we're starting to see now. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of September. We've got some big events coming up and I hope to see you on the golf course. Thank you.